let's add a full armor effect to our Minecraft mod. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below. With over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. Ho 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 ho, all right. To find us back in the other ones more in this tutorial, we've been adding a custom full armor effect to our Minecraft mod. And that basically means that when we put on our custom armor, and I mean the entire set, right? The entire Alexandrite set, then we will get a custom armor effect added to our player or even maybe even multiple ones. For this, we will need a singular Minecraft class, which I will copy over in its entirety. Now, this is going to be available to you down below, and we are going to go through the entire class basically almost line by line and i'll explain everything that is in there and that's going to be the mod armor item class over here there we go and if there are any errors over here maybe because your armor material is named differently obviously fix those and once that is done there should in theory be no errors present inside of the class itself let's first of all start with this map this map basically maps a, an armor material to a list of mob effect instances in this case so basically saying hey if you have this particular armor material on then all of the effects in this list are going to be applied to you in our case it's going to be the jump and the glowing effect if you want to add more effects well it's as easy as simply adding another element to the list right this is a normal list of coal so we can simply add another one and then for example do a i don't know a slow falling or something like that add it here as well in our case it's just going to take one that's going to be fine. Let's just use the two ones that we already have right here. If you want another armor material, right? Maybe you have another one. Obviously, that's just another put coal, right? Nothing too crazy. You simply put in, and you know, I mean, the, the other material over here, right? Like, suppose we had another one and we would just simply put it in here and add the list of other effects that we want to add there. So that's the basic map. And the idea then is the on inventory tick method, which basically gets called 20 times a second every time we have one of the mod armor items over here in our inventory, right? So we have, if we have an uh, item stack that is of type mod armor item, then all of a sudden what happens is that we're going to have this cold. The first thing we are asking is, are we on the server? Notice the exclamation mark right here, which is extremely important, right? We're saying, hey, we only want to continue if we're on the server. And then the next question is, how, does the player have a full suit of armor on? That is the first custom method right here. And basically we're literally just checking all of the different item stacks inside of the armor slots, whether or not they're empty. And basically if they're not empty, right? And we want all of them to be not empty. And then we say, hey, okay, the armor has a full suit of armor on. We'll then evaluate the armor effects. So we're going to continue right here. And here you can see we're basically looping through all of the map over here. Each entry of a map, like we said, maps a particular armor material to a particular effect. In this case, in a list of effects, but the idea remains the same. And we're then asking, does the player even have the correct armor on? Uh, for this specific material because when we look at this specific method you can see the first question we have to ask is okay is in any of our armor slots do we even have armor items in there because let's say for example in my helmet slot i can also put in a pumpkin right in my chest plate slot i can also put in an elytra and those are not armor items so casting them to an armor item over here in the you know in the line 65 that would be detrimental it would be so detrimental that the game would crash so that is why we need to make sure that if any of them are not armor items, we're immediately saying, no, we do not have the correct armor on. Don't forget about it. But if all of this is armor, then of course the material of each of the different sets of armor or each of the different armor items has to be the same as the material that we're looking at right now. So they all have to match. And if that is the case, well, then we can add the effect to the player. And we're basically here asking, hey, does the player have given all of the fact effects that we wanted to add, right? So basically with the two effects over here, if the player lacks any one of them, then we're saying, hey, they do not have the effect. Therefore, we're going to go and add all of the effects that we have in our list. That's the general idea. And then we're adding it by basically copying over the effect, the duration, the amplifier, whether or not it's ambient and visible. That is, by the way, turned to false because I don't want to have particles basically show up. I think that that is very fair in this case. And basically that is the whole idea. Hopefully sort of the logic makes sense. Highly recommend also to take a look at this class, change it about a little bit, right? Play around with this a little bit. That is always a good idea. And that will hopefully further help the understanding of this particular class. Now in our mod items, we want to simply we want to simply change one of our items to be a mod armor item right here. You could change all of them, but in theory, it doesn't make any sense, right? Because uh, you do only need one of them. And one of the limitations, by the way, also is that the this will only ever work with your own custom armor materials and not vanilla ones. If you want to do this with, with vanilla ones, I'm pretty sure you would need to use some sort of event. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, basically change the helmet, the chest plate, the boots, 
I, I don't know why you'd add it to the leggings, but you know, maybe it's maybe uh, you'd want to do that. But yeah, that's the idea. And with this done, that is literally everything we need to do. So we can now jump into the game and see if it works. All right, finally back in Minecraft. You can see I do not currently have any effects, but I also don't have the entire armor on. However, if I put my chest plate on, all of a sudden you can see I now get the glowing two and the jump boost two effect exactly like we would expect it to. And if I were to take any one of those off, you can see all of a sudden the effect is gone. However, as soon as I put it on again, there we have the effect added again. And that is a custom full armor effect Add it to Minecraft. Awesome. Of course, quite importantly, all of the code is available down below, but that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll add a custom horse armor to Minecraft. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.